You're not a hustler, you keep getting in front of you just can't flip it. You ain't really got it, you P Diddy, you be remixing. Oh, where we just got a new Glock, <laughs> that's a free biscuit. Penny Tupac, know what's up, we know on the mill tick. Was your first viral video the one, are you going off on Flint, guys? Was that the first viral? Actually, that video didn't even, I mean, it might have been, but I thought it was the one when I was talking about, uh, Muscular Baby posting. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that, too. Yeah, but that's the first one I seen you on, Kid L, 60,000, Man Life, 40,000. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. YouTube, bunch of thousands. It, it, it kind of went crazy. Yeah. What, what, what made you make that video? I mean, because at the end of the day, listen, man, we know what it is. We know every every real Detroit nigga know at the end of the day, even real Flint niggas, man, niggas can't keep it real for nothing in the world, man. Y'all niggas know y'all don't like Detroit niggas. Listen, man, Facts. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm be like this. I'm going I'm to I'm put it like this. Listen, man, if it wasn't peasy to go sign them boys up there, man, if it wasn't peasy, say if it would have been a bird, man, or a, or a, if it would have been a, a, a anybody from anywhere else part of the world, Boosie. You know, they love Boosie up there in Flint. You know what I'm saying? So say if it would've been Boosie that signed them niggas. Man, we would probably be, the Detroit would probably be beefing with Flint right now. Cause them niggas wouldn't be, uh, I mean, it, it might be like that, but then again, it might not because they might still need to go through us to get the shows and the money and the, but shit, when you get a nigga like that from New Orleans to come and sign you, then you, shit, you might not need Detroit niggas. So you can go around and it's fuck Detroit niggas. Man, if it was a different nigga to sign them niggas, it could have been a bit different thing, bro. Let's be real, man. The last 50, 60 years, Detroit niggas been going up there blessing them niggas, man. Them niggas been, hey, hey, my, hey, hey, cuz, we got dog around the corner. He from Detroit. He got 50,000 on him. Come around here and get it. Ooh, ooh, shit, he ain't from here. Fuck that nigga. Nigga, you been getting money with this nigga. You been fucking with this nigga for three years. You done met this nigga in a joint. You been fucking with this nigga for three years. You come up to Flint, you know the ground going for 250 up that bitch. We done paid $50 out here in Detroit for that bitch. We getting 250 up there in Flint. Now these niggas about to come and whack you off and knock you off because he want what you got and want to take your shine. And we been trying to put, man, come on, man. I ain't, man. Listen, man, it is what it is, man. But it ain't every Flint nigga, though. It ain't every Flint nigga. It ain't, that shit ain't, it ain't like it's a, 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 a city versus city thing, but it's just, it is what it is. Y'all niggas ain't too fine to Detroit niggas. And I damn sure ain't too fine to you niggas. It ain't like uh, it's every one of you niggas. So I might make me. You might be from Flint, nigga. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But it might be just love, genuine love there. You know what I'm saying? Like like uh, uh Pedro Sleeves. Like I said, man, that nigga be off and on. That's my dog, dog. Fuck with Pedro. You know what I'm saying? We be off and on, whatever. But but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, nigga, it is what it is, though. You know what I'm saying? Like them niggas don't, them niggas don't really like Detroit niggas. And it ain't hell I'm talking about in per se. But them niggas don't like us, man. You know them niggas don't, man. Every man, come on, man. Yeah, a know. couple rap niggas get signed, bro. Not, not all of a sudden. And then come on, nigga. Pookie and Mookie, them trying to eat too, nigga. How the fuck? How the, this, this is my thing. How the fuck in the world is the nigga stretch money talking about he door dashing when we got niggas from out of town touring and jewelry on me? No, they don't. How is that working? Where is the toilet? Where we do that? Where trick trick at? How did that ever start? How did shit like that ever happen? When did shit like this ever happen? I've never seen nothing like that in Detroit history. How? How is that possible? I don't understand that, bro. And then niggas looking at me like I'm crazy all in the comments. Detroit niggas coming against me. One, like I said, y'all niggas ain't watched the whole Hip Hop Lab interview. Y'all couldn't. Y'all need to go on YouTube and watch it and pay attention to what the fuck I was saying. Because when I'm an intelligent ass nigga, Al Nook. And what I was talking about with the bitches, nigga. Hold right. on, we gonna get to that. We gonna get to that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. That nigga, man, I don't know who the fuck that nigga is. I just know he got a name. Me too, yeah. I don't know who he is. I don't know who the either. fuck that nigga is, but shit. Yeah, nigga, well, my sister. Al Nook. Al Nook. Yeah. My sister Carla Ray already said she got a tool with that nigga, you feel me? So, uh, you know my sister Carla Ray? Uh huh. Yeah. She already told me she got a tool with that nigga and she don't like that nigga anyway. You know what I'm saying? But I I mean, I didn't, I didn't, I ain't take it as, uh, too much. I took it as a, you know what I'm saying, as like whatever, you know what I'm saying, but gonna, yeah. some win. But I, I, you know what I'm saying. But my whole thing is we're gonna touch on that. Oh, all right, bet. Let's wait. All right, it's me reading the comments on your kid. L, my YouTube, uh, Foreign Magazine reposted you. I shout out GX. Do you feel like maybe you reunited old feelings the Flint guys had? I mean, I know it was always there because we've been going up there, taking over their drug game, killing people. You know, we bring the murder game everywhere we go. But do you feel like? People say, people say you reunited prison politics on the street. You this feel like no that you prison, did that? This shit ain't no prison shit. You got niggas in prison doing life for shit on the streets that that happened in Flint. 
This is not no fucking prison shit. We can, nigga, we got niggas in wheelchairs right now in the city, nigga. I was gone. Next interview, I was gonna bring like, nigga, yeah, nigga, these niggas set me up and robbed me, nigga, from Flint, nigga. And he's from Detroit, nigga, so what the fuck is niggas talking about, nigga? I know multiple niggas like that. Like, man, this nigga's doing life right now in the only yard for Flint, nigga, for Flint, niggas. Like, what the fuck is niggas talking about? Like, why, why, why is, listen, man, niggas making this rap shit so motherfucking, uh, 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 so motherfucking like it's just a, 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 a street nigga thing and a street nigga culture, man. This shit not real, bro. None of this rap shit real. None of this shit ain't no, not even trying to say like, oh, uh, 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 the real nigga persona, but just like, it's all lies, man. It's all lies for real because nigga, one, I'm damn sure not, if this shit was real, nigga, I'm damn sure not going to fuck with no niggas that's, that's, that's. Setting up niggas in my backyard and killing, cause that's gonna make a nigga look at me crazy. Mm -hmm. Like damn, nigga, I'm, I'm, I'm like, what the fuck? I ain't about to build shit. Yeah, right. Hell, fuck no, nigga. Y'all gonna set little pookie mookie them up, nigga. Shit, nigga, I ain't. Nigga, they gonna kill, nigga. They gonna kill me, nigga. For real, I ain't man. For real, man. One hundred. Did you did you get a lot of uh, Flint guys inboxing you telling you to chill out? I mean, niggas, man, niggas gonna niggas gonna do what they gonna do. It was, it was probably it was it was a few of them. You know what I'm saying? Niggas made their comments. Niggas sent a couple little death threats and all that old damn shit. But like, man, listen, bro. I don't, man, two hour drive ain't nothing for me, man. I don't, listen, man, they gonna come from Pritchard for me. I don't know what niggas, like, I don't know who niggas think I am or what niggas think I am, bro. But they coming from Pritchard, nigga. I promise you that. So I don't, all that, all that old, I don't give a fuck what niggas talking. Niggas, man, niggas ain't got no diaper money for their kids, man. Niggas ain't, can't afford to be trying to kill nobody or trying to go get lawyer fair and all niggas better start waking up and thinking and stop playing with niggas and playing with their life, nigga. For real, nigga. This shit ain't there. This shit deep as hell, man. This shit ain't no, man. This shit deeper than rap, nigga. For real, nigga. Out of all the controversial stuff you said, do you feel like maybe you should use a different tone? Any of them, is it any of them you regret or anything like that? No, I'm just saying, I'm just saying what I'm saying. Shit, what I'm, I ain't saying nothing. I mean, this shit that powerful for niggas, for niggas to feel some type of way about Whatever the fuck I'm saying, nigga, shit, it is what it is, nigga, shit. I can't, nigga, it is what it is, nigga. I don't regret none of that shit, nigga. I mean, you even call them country bumpkins? <laughs> I mean, no, see, like me, for me, a country bumpkin is like, okay, I'm from Jerry Road. Okay, you can be from, let's say, East Warren or, or wherever. We could say any, any hood or I'm just seven mile. Man, them country ass niggas down, you know, that's what I say. You know what I'm saying? That's just some, you know what I'm saying? That's what that is. That's not no. You can be from Seven Mile. I can call you a country bumpkin. You can be from Minster. You can be if I'm if I'm if we going against if we going back and forth, nigga. You can be from my second home, which is Linwood, my second hood, nigga. And I'm, if you a Linwood, nigga, get your country ass out of you. Niggas ain't talking about shit. You niggas ain't. I'm gonna be Detroit, nigga, man. You know that's how we talk. Like whatever we, you feel me? You a right. country bumpkin ass, poor ass nigga. Hello, whatever the fuck. You feel me? It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? That's just it is what it is. Shit. Do you have any association with uh, RTM? Oh, yeah, them mob, them mob, man. I mean, you know what I'm saying? That's gang. You know, we grew up, like I told you, you know what I'm saying? I kind of answered that one already, but like when we grew up, uh, male, you know what I'm saying? That was my baby. I grew up with him, you know what I'm saying? Down there on the, on the nine and shit. We was kids. We was young niggas when I moved down there and shit. Him and his, uh, him and his fuzzing, you know what I'm saying? They like, uh, they like fuck with us on this wild fan shit, but it was never really RTM. It was never, RTM is multiple groups into one. You know what I'm saying? So it was never really just RT. I was a wild fan nigga, which tatted on RTM wild fan tatted on my stomach. I was a wild fan nigga, which is a young fresh nigga, way before it was ever we ever heard of a Lucci or any of that. You know what I'm saying? I'm surprised. You know what I'm saying? I hope T told the nigga Lucci, like, oh yeah, we was wild fan niggas in our group. We had wild fan, even though a lot of niggas went bold and a lot of niggas did what they did or whatever. But at this point in life, man, I'm gonna say this though. At this point in life, like all that, all that street nigga shit, that shit over with, man. I want my niggas to wake the fuck up, man. Like, for real, because I'm, I'm starting to realize, man, these niggas psyching us out off this bitch, bro. All that street shit is really dead, bro. Like, and and, I, and every day I'm starting to realize that, and the more I'm trying to tell my niggas that, it be like, bro, I'm going to have to get away from you niggas, bro, because I'm going here. And if you niggas can't think past where y'all at, or y'all can't see past where y'all at, y'all going to leave me where, where y'all at. I'm not trying to be where y'all at. I love niggas. But I'll see y'all niggas where y'all, I'll call y'all niggas and meet y'all niggas up later. I can't, I can't be around no niggas. Listen, man, the thing about having a team, man, is this. One, when a nigga see you getting some light, they want the light. They want to try to get the light, too. Listen, bro, everybody got to have a turn. That's why Big Me say it will never be another group like his. Because, like, RTM was pretty close. I'm not saying we had the money. 
if we had the guidance in the plug, hell yeah. Like, like, man, that nigga Tay could have been the next Big Meech or or Mel could have been the next Jay Z or 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 or, or Shaq. You know what I'm saying? All these niggas. You know what I'm saying? These is the 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 the, the niggas that you know what I'm saying help. You know what I'm saying? Build that shit up. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't, you know, them niggas CEO, but my thing is, them niggas could have been the next, you know what I'm saying? The next these niggas, if they had the proper guidance and the proper, you feel what I'm saying? We don't got that in Detroit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm really trying to, like, that's why I changed RTM from Related to Money to Remember the Mission and why I fan to Young Fresh niggas to Young Foreign Nation. So we got to remember the mission that we own, and the mission is getting out the fucking hood. All you goofy ass niggas keep trying to, y'all niggas worried about what's going on in the hood and who fucking who and such and such and such and such, this and that. Listen, man, that shit is goofy as fuck, man. Y'all gonna look up and y'all gonna be 50, man. Y'all gonna be trying to figure this shit out and it's gonna be too late. Y'all niggas need to wake the fuck up now, get off that dumb ass goofy shit and wake the fuck up and get this money, man. Like, I, trying to get money with niggas is trying to, like, keep a clean house when you got 10 kids. Mm. That, that's what it's like trying to get money with niggas. It's so fucking hard, man. It's like, bro, wake the fuck up. Wake up, it's a billion of us, bro. We can go get a fucking job at a tip service in three months. We put that shit together, we all be rich. Why the fuck y'all niggas can't understand that? Like, why the fuck? So it'll be like, for me, it's going to be like, all right, you know what? I'm going to fall back and do what I need to do. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, really, you know what I'm saying? My life, I'm, if I scream my RTM, that means I'm trying to help my niggas or bring my I don't need no niggas. I never did. Blood, RTM, none of that. I've always been a one-man army. I never needed no niggas. Like, even... Nah, I don't be with a billion. I mean, you might. I pull up on my nigga. What's up? How y'all doing? We eat, whatever. We can go out to eat, go shopping, go go fuck on some hoes, whatever the fuck we decide to go do for that night. I'll go do it. But I'm saying, like, I don't need a million niggas with me. I don't need to bring y'all niggas with me. I don't need to bring no nigga with me. And they don't need to bring me with them. I'm just saying, in order for us to win, niggas got to start renewing their mind. Like, niggas got to be, become just straight, clear minded, and focused straight. On the goal, on the necessary goals to get out this bitch, bro. And I be sitting down thinking like, damn, I wonder why such and such ain't fucking with the hood or mentioning a nigga name or putting a nigga on or why they ain't doing this or why they not doing that. And then I'm realizing, I'm looking at these niggas and I'm like, damn, this is why. This is fucking why. Like right now. Right now. Like I'm I'm, I'm going viral. I got a little like, I'm not going to say I'm, you know what I'm saying? I know where I'm going, so it don't matter. This just, this just, this just started. You know what I'm saying? So it don't matter where the fuck, what, what the fuck the light come from, but it's here. So it's just like, hey, y'all see this light, nigga? Let's go. Let's put the fire behind this light so it can blow the fuck up. If I blow the fuck up, then you blow the fuck up. If you blow the fuck up, you gonna blow the fuck up. But nobody see it like that. Niggas look at them. I want the money. I want to be the boss. I want to move this way. I want to, nigga, you, it's not gonna happen that way, bro. It's not gonna happen that way. Obviously, it's not gonna happen that way. If you had the chance before and it ain't working, nigga, sit the fuck down, play the role, nigga, and let's get the fuck out of here. What is so, uh, I, listen, bro. Let me tell you how, listen, bro. I'm not going, you know what I'm saying, because I'm not trying to, like, feel like I'm trying to talk down on the nigga or mention the nigga name when it comes to this, but, like, bro, I was so invested into my niggas to where the point where, like, nigga, before my career, I would be like, nigga, I would put this money behind you type shit. Like, nigga, I believe in you. Like, because I'm not no rapper for real. You know, I'm trying this shit. This ain't no, this ain't no shit that I'm, nigga, I can't come up with no song in 10 minutes like some of my niggas can. You feel what I'm saying? But can niggas make sacrifices like I can? That's the difference. You know what I'm saying? It's a million niggas that can make that can make music. That's what I be telling my niggas every day. It's a million niggas that can make music every fucking day. But can niggas make the sacrifices? Nobody want to make the sacrifices. Nobody want to take what it necessarily takes to do to win, bro. And that's why niggas be where they at. And that's why groups never really push past that certain point. You know what I'm saying? But when groups do, and when niggas really figure out, like, damn, this is that, that easy? That's why niggas like Team Eastside and niggas like Dope Boys really figure it out and get the fuck on and they be winning in their circle amongst their immediate niggas because they figured out the formula. The formula is, hey, we just got to trust each other and we got to just get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? These niggas, you, how, how, I, listen, bro, if I'm trying, if, if I got the ball right now, nigga, why the fuck do you want me to pass you the ball? They looking at me. Pat, nigga, just, just hold on. You going to get that bitch? Hold on. You know what I'm saying? But that's how, that's how I feel about you know what I'm saying? Because at, at some time, niggas be sitting back like, bro, I got to stay away from niggas, man. Because, like, niggas be thinking about bitches and arguing up hoes. And, like, bro, we're not rich. We cannot, bro, it's Bugatti's to be drove. Nigga, it's, it's, it's money to be got. Nigga, it's homes to be owned. Nigga, it's matches out here. Like, bro, I lived all over the world, bro. Like, nigga, I lived in Florida. I lived in motherfucking, uh, uh, nigga, uh, uh, Alabama, New Orleans. 
I didn't I didn't live in California. I just moved back in California. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, it's so many bitches and so much money out here in this world, bro. Like niggas be so stuck in their box and so can't even think outside that bitch. He be like, man, we ain't gonna never make it out of God damn there. Man, one of my fuzzers had hit a lick, ran off with a couple dollars or whatever. I ain't gonna say the nigga name and shit. But it's just like, damn, nigga, you willing to fuck up a whole bunch of niggas' relationships and now nah, I can't even nah, his his brother was like my best, like my best bro. You know, this is my like I'm I'm with this nigga on the regular. You know what I'm saying? You done ran off, you done ran off with the motherfucking uh with the rip ran off with a few dollars, and now. Nah, it's like, damn, I can't even fuck with this nigga no more because I know he's going to ride with his brother. But nigga, I'm not fucking with you, nigga, because you ran off with a couple dollars. If it was a million dollars on the floor, you're going to run off with that. You know what I'm saying? So, and you fucking with him, knowing it's like where you stand, that's going to be like, damn, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But that's how teams is. The moment anything come about, a nigga won't, won't, won't want to take, 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 and like, and then y'all took it all, and now it's nothing left. It's nothing left to go to the next level, and it just be like, y'all niggas losers, man. I can't be around that type of shit, man. I'm, I'm really over that shit. I'm getting old as hell. I'm getting wrong. I'm, I'm, I'm pushing thirty. Like, man, it's time for niggas to wake up, bro. Like, if nigga ain't, if niggas don't own three, four houses, cars, or, or none of that shit, bro. Like, man, fuck all the bullshit. It's fuck the bullshit and get to the money. Mm -hmm. Get to the fucking money, man. Well, you kind of answered my question, so you do know Michigan Mail. Uh, you got a relationship with T Grizz? Uh, no, I never had a relationship with uh, T. I never been around that nigga. I don't know that nigga. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got nothing bad to say about him. You know what I'm saying? I'm proud of everything he doing. Uh, Poe just came home. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas doing good. Them niggas, he out here. I'm, I'm surprised. I'm proud of them niggas. I support them niggas. I'm behind them niggas 100%. Or whatever them niggas doing. I don't know T personally. You know what I'm saying? I done met R, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, he done posted my shit up a couple times. He showed love. You know what I'm saying? I support all them niggas and what they got going on, though. But Mel, no, that's my baby, though. Like, day one. For sure, for sure. Can't nothing trade me against him. Well, uh, that lead me to ask you a, uh, maybe a controversial question. You ain't going to ask if you don't want to. No, I'm going to ask whatever it is. Michigan Mel in a joint. I was at Earth with him. Okay. And nobody really said it to his face that he was bald. But behind the scenes, once oh yeah, left. yeah, you always do that. Like that's scared of male, male, nigga, male, male, a demon for real. I ain't gonna lie, that nigga, a real demon, man. Like all that, man. Listen, man, ain't no nigga showed me no paperwork. And even if that fuck me, that's my brother. Fuck you, niggas. Fuck you, niggas. Fuck them, nigga. I'm riding with him. Nah. Mm. Like at the end of the day, man, niggas keep talking about this rat shit, rat this, rat that, rat this. Listen, man, Jay Z have a whole federal informant, the president of Rock, 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 Rock Nation. Nobody saying nothing to that nigga. That nigga's a fucking billionaire. Why the fuck is you mad about this little nigga in the hood trying to get out this bitch? Nigga, fuck no. You can do whatever you want to do. You can do whatever you want to do, nigga. I'm still riding with you. That's how I'm about to do with my team from now on. As long as you don't cross my team and my circle, nigga, you straight with me, nigga. That's how we playing it from now on, nigga. All that rap shit and all that goofy ass hood nigga shit. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't brainwash our minds to believe it. Oh, you ain't no real nigga if you don't go through a hundred years. Nigga, fuck that shit, nigga. We ain't about to be sitting around playing with these niggas. I just did all that time in the joint, nigga. Fuck niggas, man. I ain't, man, fuck that shit, man. Nigga sitting in that bitch, dying in that bitch, nigga. Ain't gonna never get a piece of pussy or a piece of nothing, nigga. A piece of good food, none of that shit, nigga. Cause they gotta sit in that bitch cause they been real niggas, bro. Fuck all that, nigga. We ain't fuck them niggas, bro. It's our team versus your team. I don't give a fuck. If you niggas go to the jail, dying and do a hundred years in that bitch. Fuck you niggas. I don't give a fuck. I'm, I don't care about no who ratty. I don't care about who fucking who. That shit don't. Nigga, I'm trying to be. I want the feds to work for me, nigga. I want the CIA to work for me, nigga. I'm trying to be on that level. I'm trying to be powerful, nigga. I want a fucking federal motherfucking FBI agent to be the president of my company, too, nigga. Like, what the fuck, man? I'm like, man, y'all niggas is goofy. Y'all niggas goofy. Niggas talk, niggas be saying shit behind that nigga. Nigga, just niggas do that shit to me. Niggas do that, man. Niggas be in, niggas fear niggas in, figures in the physical form, bro. That shit is real, bro. Like, man, you, man, listen, bro. You press down on a nigga, man. And you, nigga, by yourself, nigga. What's up, nigga? What's up, nigga? For real, man. These niggas are, man. Nigga, man, niggas not gonna say that shit to male face. Male will destroy you. Like, bro, the nigga just got shot 10 times, bro. And the nigga still a demon. Up there, I'm at the hospital with the nigga. The nigga still up, walking around like, bitch, what, 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 bitch, what's up? The niggas, bro, that nigga's a real god child warrior, nigga. I ain't, we ain't worry about none of that. We ain't worry about none of that, nigga. Long nigga, we good. Nigga, everybody in my mind good. RTM good. We all cool with each other. Ain't nobody. We don't, long as you, 
long as you ain't switch on our team, nigga, it's fuck you, nigga. But everybody else, nigga, we good, nigga. We don't care about what happened in the joint or none of that goofy shit, nigga. Come home, let's get this money if you focused on this money, nigga. Fuck all that who ratted on who and who did this and who did that. Yeah, if you, if you fucked up the team and you run the team now, of course. But I've never seen none of that on Mail Name. Never. Ne where's that? Have you heard it, though? Man, niggas talk about that shit all the time. Where is at? Where is the paperwork at? Y'all yeah. pull paperwork out on this nigga, on that nigga, on this nigga. Where is the paperwork out on mail? Just show me the paperwork and then it'd be cool. If he if he if he brought the team down, show me the paperwork about it. I've never seen no paperwork about it, man. Yeah. But what it is is, what it is is they have paperwork on somebody that mail is cool with and that then they feel like he did this and he did that and Mel not letting shit slide with that. So Mel feel like nigga, you know what I'm saying? I can't say too much because that's 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 family business, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, man, listen man, Mel ain't never told on no nigga, man. But even if he did, nigga, fuck you, nigga. He ain't never told on no mob, nigga. He ain't never told on no mob. Where is it at? If it's if it's here, show it. You know what I'm saying? Then we can just it, it, it's just in there. But that nigga ain't never told on no mob. Nigga, niggas be, nigga, man, nigga, I say that shit to behind that nigga back a million times, man, to that nigga going they shit, man. Dog a real demon, man. That nigga ain't worried about, he a blow a nigga, shoot a nigga, fight a nigga, all that, man. That nigga ain't worried about no shit like that, man. Nigga had to shoot a male, was fucking them boys up. Nigga up, up, up mad, and the nigga was scared with the mat. Shot him in the leg. Come on, man, you shot a nigga in the leg ten times, man. Come on, man. Damn. Niggas ain't playing, man. And my nigga up walking around the next day. Nigga, I'm at the hospital with my nigga. He walking around the next day. I mean, he probably did some goofy shit to get shot. Cause Mel don't give a fuck. I ain't gonna say it like he, like he uh, got it all. You know what I'm saying? But nigga, Mel don't give a fuck, man. That nigga lose his motherfucking mind off this bitch and be a demon while on some Scarface shit, nigga. Be a demon while he doing it, nigga. I ain't, man. Listen, man. All that rat shit. Y'all nigga need to get some money. Our kids home. Kids out here ain't eating, nigga. Y'all, nigga, we fuck all that, nigga. That, that's what, the, that's where nigga mine need to be at. Like, nigga, we ain't got, we, we need the best vehicles that that God got to offer, nigga. That this world got. I want the best shit that the world got to offer. I want to be in a Bugatti back to back with Mel while he in a Rolls truck and like all all my niggas, like all all that goofy shit niggas talking about, man. I don't want to hear that shit. Don't bring it to me because I'm about to be a millionaire. All you niggas talking that goofy, bop. I don't give a fuck. And the niggas gonna be behind me on the side of me, nigga. Whatever. I don't give a fuck about what y'all niggas talking about, nigga. All y'all goofy niggas, y'all niggas trying to 10-9 Jake and nigga, man, fuck y'all niggas. We don't give a fuck about that shit, nigga. All that goofy ass shit niggas want to bring, trying to, trying to. First thing a nigga do trying to kill your credibility, man, is, is a faggot and a rat. So what? Who get, don't nobody care about that shit no more. We in 2024, nobody gives a fuck. Nigga, we get the money. Nigga, that's what really matters. Who getting the money? Who getting their mama out the hood? Who getting their friend, who getting their friends and family out the hood, nigga? Who, and it ain't even so much as. A remote area, what I mean out the hood. It's a state of mind, man. Who getting their fucking family out the hood, man? Who making sure their mama don't have to have any financial problems? Only problem she gotta worry about is 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 what she cooking on Sunday. Who fucking who who doing shit like that? Me, me, yo, Diddy, them, them niggas doing shit like that, bro. We gotta worry about all that goofy shit, man. We gotta go hustle extra hard when Christmas come around, nigga. Them niggas don't. I don't be worried about what them niggas doing with they dick and ass, nigga, or what them niggas doing in their paperwork, nigga. That ain't my paperwork, nigga. So everybody need to focus on their own shit and worry about their goddamn self and worry about their own team and get the fuck out the hood instead of worrying about what Mel got going on or what these niggas or what RTM got going on. Nigga, we ain't worry about what y'all niggas got going on. Don't worry about what we got going on. Don't sit no feds on us when it become a problem either, nigga. And that's just that, nigga. Shit. Did you see that RTM indictment coming? And if so... I was so, already locked up. Oh, you was already locked up? I was up? already locked up. Did you see it coming, though? I mean, not really because I was, when I was locked up, see, when I, from 10 to, from 10 to when the indictment happened, from 2010 to when the indictment happened, it was, you know what I'm saying, I was in, I was in, a, you know, you worried about your own shit now, you locked up, you, because I caught a case on, 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 on my side, on the dark side, you feel what I'm saying, so when I caught a case down there, you feel me, all the, uh, all the other shit, you know, you just like, fuck everything. You got to figure out what you got going on. You 16, you facing grown man charges, no more juvenile. You and that bitch like, damn. So you really thinking like that. You're not really worried about what everybody else going on. But when niggas got indicted, it was like, but it was it made the news and shit all the way up there up north and shit. I seen it all on the news. I seen uh, when, when uh, dudes, dudes got indicted too, you know what I'm saying? All that shit was, it was crazy, you know what I'm saying? At the time, I still was in my... 
ah, 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 rah, rah days, but nah, nigga, it's just like shit. Nah, I look at that shit like, damn, we all got indicted when we was kids and we had guidance. Like I just told you before, that nigga Tay could have been the next Jay, whoever. Tay could have been the next Big Meech and, 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 and motherfucking uh, 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 Mill and, 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 and Shaq. Them niggas could have been the, the next whatever. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas is fucking geniuses, man. Them niggas sitting on, on the prison yard. You know what I'm saying? We didn't have no right guidance. You know what I'm saying? But we, I would have preferred if we had the guidance of getting indicted with the money. Shit, we got indicted when we was kids without any type of real substance for real. They indicted us for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, the feds came on some goofy shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, not saying niggas weren't doing what they were doing. Niggas was getting a couple of dollars niggas was doing. But I'm talking about, like, it was so many niggas. We had so many niggas and so much power for real. And, like, niggas didn't, like, bro, if we had, man, all niggas needed was one was one one right nigga, bro, and we would have been wherever everybody else said not, man. For real, for real. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. They came and got y'all for the violence. Yeah, yeah, Dude. the violence. I think we was the first we was the first group to ever get indicted for the violence, for real. Like I don't think nobody I can't even think of nobody before us that got indicted in Detroit for violence and not money. I don't even I don't even remember. I can't even and I'm a I'm like a I'm like a Detroit kind of sewer. So I I be into that type of shit. I mean, what, the Purple Gang? Right. I, that, that was the far... I mean, I can't think of nothing else outside of... Uh, not, I can't think of nobody else that got indicted for the for, for shit like that outside of, you know what I'm saying? No, shit, nobody, for real. I can't think of nobody, for real. That's, I, that's crazy you know about the Purple Gang. A lot of people don't. Oh, no, I'm crazy. Talking, man, listen, man, I love my city, man. Like, man, I'm everything... Man, a lot of shit that I do is really for my city. Like, the Mopar music shit, you know what I'm saying? That's like, man, Mopar is Detroit. You know what I'm saying? Whether people like it, the big three is Detroit. Whatever, whether people like it or not, you know what I'm saying? That's that's a Detroit thing. Uh, the David Ruffin. I don't know if you ever seen my David Ruffin video, but that was yeah. like a that was that was for Detroit. I'm surprised. Like man, I sent that shit to Mall. I was so upset with Motown. I'm like, man, how the fuck y'all not gonna post this? How the fuck y'all not gonna fuck with this? Like nigga, I went out my, I spent my own check for that. Nigga, like nigga, I spent my own pennies on this. Like y'all niggas ain't gonna. Oh, uh, they gonna they gonna uh, Motown so much in some holes, right? You know what I'm saying? And I always loved Motown. I looked up to Motown, nigga, since I was a fucking kid. Like, my dream was always to get signed by Motown. You know what I'm saying? When I grew up, I grew up off the Temptations. You know what I'm saying? David Ruffin, my favorite singer to this day. Like, I don't I don't really like, like, that's what I grew up off of. I used to do the dances and everything. Like, so, when I, it was kind of like, damn, it was kind of like heartbreaking. Like, damn, nigga, like, one, I already, I already missed it. You know what I'm saying? Being the first rapper to get signed by him. They signed uh, Bezo and they signed BJ the Chicago kid before too. You know what I'm saying? So I, I wanted to be the first rapper from Detroit to get signed by Motown. You know what I'm saying? But I was on the yard. So Bezo got to it first. You know what I'm saying? Then, um, then or Eminem. You know what I'm saying? I got to get, I feel like I need to be Detroit bred. You know what I'm saying? At the same time. But when I posted, when I, when I sent it to him and I asked him to post it, you know what I'm saying? I said some slick shit. I'm like, damn, how the fuck, how the fuck y'all post this nigga? Cause they posted Offset. Oh, what's the nigga name? Not Offset. What's the the one married to Cardi B? Take off. No. Take. Yeah, take off. No, Offset married Offset. to Cardi B. Offset. Yeah. So I'm like, damn, y'all post this nigga. I mean, even if they is signing y'all, where, where the Detroit shit at? Nigga, like, I did all this motherfucking. Where, where, where the fuck the Detroit love at? Nigga, like, nigga, what the fuck y'all ain't gonna put this shit up? Y'all ain't gonna support this shit, nigga. I did this shit for one of y'all artists, like, and then not only that, man, I'm so strategic with my music. And I'm so like I'm so on point with my music. Like when I make music, every line and every I can't just write a song in one day. These niggas writing songs have no meaning behind it. Every line, every bar, every one of my songs literally be having meaning behind it. It probably means something. That's why I don't do. That's why I'm not just drop. You don't see me with multiple multiple mixtapes. I can't just talk about. I'm not. I'm not gonna be no nigga that just. Drop multiple, multiple mixtapes. No, nigga. You're going to sign me now. You're going to give me my money now. And then we're going to get the money for my shit, my work, my artwork on the, on the back end. Because, nigga, I'm not about to put out 15 fucking albums and then y'all come and sign me. And I all my good shit. And I got to what? Try to re-release my new good shit? Hell no. Nigga, this is history. Nigga, I'm putting his, that David Ruffin, man. I'm talking about Tammy. L little kids asking me, who you talking about? Walker Flock? I'm like, no, nigga. I'm talking about Tammy Terrell. David Ruffin, bitch. Nigga, all y'all niggas need to know y'all history. That's why, like, my, my shit... Like me, I like when I put music like with the Mopar shit, all the shit that I mentioned in the cars and all this is like a Detroit thing to me. Like it's all Detroit. It's Detroit culture. You know what I'm saying? All that Mopar shit, all that Motown shit, all that whatever I'm doing, like I was supposed to be doing songs like when I how I did David Ruffin. I was gonna do a song like with everybody name. I was gonna do a big ass called like an album called Detroit. And I was gonna everybody name like Maserati Rick. And I was gonna do one for 
I was gonna do one for Rick. I was gonna do one even for White Boy Rick, Big Meech, you know what I'm saying? Aretha Franklin, you know what I'm saying? I had all this shit in my mind, Purple Gang, every, you know what I'm saying? I was doing this shit in prison when I decided, like, oh, I wanna start rapping, you know what I'm saying? So I was doing this shit, but then, like, shit, once it, uh, uh, Bezel came out, Chamberlain Brothers, you know, they, they, it's, it's, it's all like, you know what I'm saying? So it'd be like, shit, I can't, I can't do, I can't do it how I wanna do it. And then, you know what I'm saying? When you ain't, Really got the support how you really got the support. It ain't gonna come out how you want it to come out. Like Dave Ruffin came out damn near close to perfect to what I wanted. But it, I mean, at the time they was doing renovations on the Motown building. You know what I'm saying? But I still got it done. Like it's either now or never. You know what I'm saying? Like I shot that bitch in front of Barry Gordy House. You know his old house in uh in uh in uh Boston Edison District. You know what I'm saying? I was a dream of mine buying it when it came up for sale. It made TMZ. I was like, damn, I'm gonna be the first one to buy that house. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a Detroit, like, man, I love my city. Like, I love everything about Detroit. Like, really can't nobody tell me nothing about my city. Like, nigga, I'm, I'm so Detroit bred. Like, man, niggas don't even know. Like, our shit so motherfucking dope. Like, man, where we from so motherfucking dope. It's to the point to where, like, to, like, nigga, man, gods come from us. Like, when we go and go somewhere, it be like a stack. A Detroit stack, like when the Detroit niggas go and go somewhere, bro, that shit be big, like big meets, you feel me? Like we can use them for an example. Like, man, when niggas like that go somewhere, like any Detroit nigga, bro, when they go somewhere and they gonna dominate that field, man, Detroit niggas is like black people. Detroit niggas is like black people all over the world, like black people dominating sports. Detroit niggas is like, like, like black people in sports. That's how Detroit niggas is everywhere we go. I, you get the reference? Of course. I, I want to. I want to. I want to just. You know what I'm saying? Get. I be going sometimes. Get the babbling, and I get the going off about shit, this and that, and I be thinking people be catching up with my mind, and they really don't. And I be, and I be like, damn, I already had that conversation. I'm over here now. But that's how I be going. I don't want to. How you get the name uh, Big Hope, Motor City Hope? Oh, um, my code gave me that name. My code finna gave me that name. I mean, how did that come about? What was y'all having a conversation? No, it was some shit I can't explain about for real. I can't really talk about it in here because it's a case that's open, open case. You know what I'm saying? So I can't oh. explain about it. But yeah, my co-defendant gave me my gave me my name. That's all I can say about that. But yeah, definitely got to talk about this. You said you paid females to be your slave in that band, though. <laughs> <laughs> Elaborate yeah, on that. Yeah, yeah. When the hunk, hunkies gave me my money, I came out here acting bad, man. I was doing whatever the fuck I wanted to do, man. Man, I man, I can't, I can't snitch. I ain't gonna, I can't snitch. I can do whatever the fuck I want to do. But, ah right, man, this some hoes, boy. I didn't, I didn't, man. Some of these rapper bitches in the city, bad bitches, boy. I, I enslaved them bitches. Now I ain't gonna say no names though. I enslaved a lot of these bitches, nigga. I'm pulling up Porsche trucks, Rolls, whatever, Elays, Vets, whatever, nigga. I be pulling up in that shit on these bitches, enslaving them, nigga, enslaving them, man, for real, for real. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. That nigga, uh. That nigga Lando probably enslaved a couple of these hoes too, though. I ain't gonna lie. I was looking at Lando when I said this shit, like, man. And he gave me that look like, nigga, I know what you're talking about. These hoes, they cost, some of these hoes cost a pretty penny, but they gonna go. They TTG, nigga. I ain't gonna lie. But shit, it, it, it's better when you pay me shit. I ain't, Facts. Nigga, I ain't, gotta, I ain't gotta deal with no bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I got I got all these families I'm taking care of. I got wives. Nigga, I got multiple women. Nigga, I got multiple wives. Nigga, I can't be... If I wanna if I wanna see a bad bitch and I wanna fuck her, nigga, I can't be trying to, oh, let's go on a date, let's go. No, I can't be doing all that. I gotta come straight forward here. Nigga, I got what you want, five? What you want? What, what you work? And then and if a bitch don't come on this bitch cause y'all see this interview now nah, thinking I'm about to no nah, bitch, cause if you a two dollar hoe, that's what you get. Don't think you about to come and get uh uh if you a if you a Nike bitch, a foot locker bitch, don't think I'm about to take you to Somerset. Not one bit. You feel what I'm saying? Don't think I'm about to take you to Somerset. But don't, no, you're going to leave with something, though. You're going to leave with something, though, but don't think, you know what I'm saying? But if a bitch worth it, you know what a bitch worth it. You know what I'm saying? Because she got it. You know, she ain't going to ask you. You know what I'm saying? So you got to make it worth her while. You know what I'm saying? So, like, a lot of these rapper bitches, a bitch up a 50, 50 kid on it. But shit, a bitch be feeling you anyway, and you still, bitch, I got 5,000. I'm trying to beat that motherfucker in. I'm trying to slay your ass real quick. What's up? They going to come do it. It is what it is, though. Shit, a lot of these, man, what's What's the nastiest thing a female don't did for you? Nastiest shit? Yeah. I ain't, I'm, I'm, I mean, I, I can get kinky and, and crazy, man, but I ain't really too, uh, I am I ain't really too, uh, you know, bitches, I don't really like head for real. I ain't really no head. Now, I ain't no nasty nigga for real when it comes to the whole, I'm, I'm really, I, I mean, I beat him down. I slam him for real, though, but, uh. But uh, I do what I want to do to them. You know what I'm saying? It ain't about what they want to do to me. It's about what I want to do to them, though. So it's really the difference. 
You know what I'm saying? I want to do whatever I want to do with you. You know, if I want to tie your ass up, I want to tie you up. You know what I'm saying? If I want to whip your ass, you cry. Man, I want to whip your ass. You know, on some shit like that. You feel me? But shit, it is what it is. I respect what you said about like if my my female want to f wife and Lucci uh, uh, Kevin Gates I'm a letter because I got multiple women man can, can you explain the, the benefits of having like that open type of relationship and communication No see my thing is this right my whole thing is this see a nigga ain't ain't hear the whole they heard a skit they didn't hear the whole thing see my whole thing was we was talking about. Niggas and I'm back doing all the sneaky goofy shit like yeah, man, yeah. listen man. Chick inbox. Niggas trying to yeah, niggas niggas all in my bitch inbox talking about I know your baby daddy be out of town, I ain't gonna tell like listen man, you ain't gotta do all that. If that bitch wanna fuck you, she can fuck you, but she don't wanna fuck you. The people she wanna fuck is somewhere else, and I'm gonna make that happen for her because I got a real bitch. All my bitches real, all my bitches bad, I can call my bitches right now and they're gonna make sure whatever I need happen for me. Nigga, I'm, I'm a hell of a nigga. These niggas ain't no hell of a nigga before they deals, man. These niggas ain't had no bad bitches before they deals. Nigga, I'm a hell of a nigga. All my bitches bad. All my bitches gorgeous. You know what I'm saying? Whether, whether they got 100000 or whether they got $50. Nigga, all my bitches gorgeous. Nigga, all my bitches drop dead. All my bitches got their own shit. And I bet you all their bills paid and all my kids taken care of. And every family I got in every situation I got, nigga, I ain't, nigga, ain't none of that. Nigga, ain't, my bitches ain't living with their mamas, nigga. My bitch ain't got to live with their mamas, nigga. My hoes ain't got to worry about where, they, where the food or the diapers coming from or none of that, nigga. We ain't, so all you niggas worried about me and what, I'm, what I got going on, nigga, fix yourself first, nigga. Go get your bitch out the fucking shelter, nigga. Go get your bitch from off the block, nigga, or trying to figure it out, nigga. She ain't got no home over her head, over your kid's head, nigga. Go figure that out, nigga. Stop worrying about what me and my bitch got going on and go worry about what you and your bitch got going on. And y'all kids, they go take care of them kids, nigga. Them dirty, them dusty ass, dirty ass kids. You gotta go take care of them kids, nigga. Stop worrying about me, nigga. For real, man. Goofy ass niggas, man. Talking about niggas that all in the comments talking about, man. See niggas so dick sucking, sucking stroke. Man, these niggas so suck, man. Listen, bro. I never Detroit, bro. We are players. Detroit players, bro. We a player, bitch. So quick. I never been in the game with chasing no hoes, nigga. Y'all in the game with that nigga. I'm not in that game. So all y'all niggas, oh, I ain't. That's what, I think that's what Al Luke said, man. I ain't trying to get it. But oh, I ain't never heard no Detroit nigga talk about here letting nigga fuck his bitch. Nigga, listen, what, nigga? Man, what, nigga? I'm a real boy, man. I ain't chasing no. I'm not. Listen, you know why the bitch ain't gonna do it, though? Because I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I'm not worried about her doing it. I don't give a fuck. A bitch chasing me. I'm never chasing no hoe, nigga. That's why y'all niggas on that bitch. Oh, y'all scared, y'all. Oh, that nigga talking about here. Let a nigga fuck his bitch and this and that, this and that. Woo, this and that, this and that. Man, bro, listen, man. Y'all niggas are so corny, bro. That's why these hoes be going, bro. Because y'all niggas is some dick sucker stroking ass niggas, man. Y'all niggas are some suck suckers, man. Y'all suckers, man. Y'all suck ass niggas, man. For real, nigga. Y'all niggas are suckers, man. Don't nobody give a fuck about what no bitch doing, nigga. Y'all worried about what the bitch doing. Not me, nigga. I ain't never been worried about what no hoe doing, nigga. That hoes bring down empires, nigga. Y'all niggas, that's why niggas is losing and failing. Nah, niggas, y'all niggas ain't on shit. Y'all ain't on point. Y'all worry about what that bitch doing. She about to bring, she about to fuck up what you and your man's got going on because you don't think your man's looking at that bitch. Man, I done had so many problems with, listen, man, I'm the type of nigga, bro, a nigga can leave this bitch around me ass naked, bro. I don't, if a bitch, if, listen, man, if a nigga got, if my, if my brother got a bitch, she's my sister until he's done with the bitch. When he done with the bitch, I, I don't know nothing about that bitch. Can't see her, can't say nothing to me. Man, my niggas bitches be hitting me up, man, talking about this and that, talking, nigga, I will never. Nigga, you ain't my friend. I don't know you. I ain't got shit to say to you at all. Nigga, I don't give a fuck about no hoe, man. It's a billion bitches in the world. That's what bring down empires, man. Niggas can't think past a bitch, bro. Niggas can't think past a bitch. That's why a lot of shit you really got to do by yourself, man. You really got to move by yourself because an another man will never think like you and another man will never move like you, man, especially when it comes to money and bitches. See, in prison, it's different because it's not no money and it's not no bitches. So when you get out here and you get to dealing with niggas and niggas get the and, 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 and niggas get the niggas grown eye and niggas tender dick and niggas niggas really ain't on what they man that shit be a whole month man bitches bring down the whole empire man bitches bring down the whole empire fucking with these niggas man so so what did Al Nuke say to you man and, and what does Al Nuke do I don't know that nigga I don't know nothing about that nigga I don't even know who the fuck he is I shouldn't even bring that nigga name up for real but my sister said she got a tool with the bitch ass nigga too let me take that back I ain't gonna call that nigga no bitch I don't know that nigga. But no, as a matter of fact, no, I ain't taking shit back. Because the, the nigga disrespected me. The nigga said something disrespectful to me. What the fuck the nigga say? Clown ass. The niggas called me something. Obviously, he ain't watched the whole interview right. or whatever. And then selling your soul. And a lot of niggas talking about, oh, he talking about selling his soul. Selling your soul means sacrificing, nigga. Selling
selling your soul to become the great of what you can be. What I mean by selling my soul to them jewels is, nigga, when they come give me that money, nigga, I'm gonna slave for this shit, nigga. Because I want to get out, nigga. That's what the fuck I mean, goofy-ass niggas. So, all you goofy-ass niggas that's out here talking, y'all niggas don't even know what the fuck y'all talking about. And dog ain't he couldn't have watched the whole interview, man. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, any nigga of, of, of any type of stature or any nigga of any type of name, nigga, especially coming from Detroit, nigga, we do checks. Like, nigga, we're, I mean, we're at least, like, let me see what this nigga talking about. What this nigga talking about, man? What this nigga talking about? Okay, he talking about something. Hey, yeah, what they all talking about, it's, it, it ain't 100%. I ain't 100% with him. All the selling his soul, whatever the fuck he was talking about there. But he was saying, what he was saying here are this thing. Like, come on, man. Ain't nobody thinking about that corny ass old nigga, man. That nigga corny as hell, man. Sitting here mentioning my name, or all of my DM, all of my posts and shit. Like, man, that shit corny as hell, man. Nobody know your corny ass, man. You out the game, man. You out the picture, man. It's on to the next, nigga. Like, how the fuck you gonna call me a clown and you ain't watch my whole interview, nigga? Watch the whole interview, then put Wait, he said you a clown. Yeah, he called me, like, Over. like, like, what? That's what I'm saying. Like, nigga, do you, what the, who the, nigga, what? Bro. Nigga, what? Like, man, niggas don't even know, bro. Like, niggas don't even know, bro. Like, I'll be like, bro, is you serious? Like, but it's, I, but I'm, I'm taking it, hey, it's the internet. We're gonna play the internet. That's what we doing. We playing the internet. We playing the field. We playing the game. You know what I'm saying? This shit all... Fun, like this ain't no, this not real. That's why I say y'all can do whatever y'all want to do. It's not none of this shit is real. You can do whatever you want to do, nigga. You can pretend it's acting. You can come be a street nigga. You can come and be a, a cold blood killer when you when you put putting that persona on. You can come and rap and you can come do that shit and get paid for it. So come and do it. I'm, I'm encouraging niggas to come and do it. Come get paid for that shit, nigga, and move like that, nigga. You ain't gotta, you ain't gotta conform to these niggas. All these niggas talking about, hey, he ain't wearing real trues or rare and merry, whatever the fuck going on right now, whatever popping, whatever hot. They saying it ain't real. Fuck them niggas. Do it. Do it anyway. Fuck what niggas talking about. We ain't got no more codes. Ain't none of that shit. All that shit over with in this music game, bro. Get the money. Get the money. Fuck what niggas talking about. Fuck all that street nigga shit and that moral code. All that. That shit fake, bro. I'm telling y'all niggas, nah, that shit fake. You're gonna be doing 100 years on the yard. Ain't nobody gonna be writing you. Your bitch gonna be fucking the next nigga with some rims. Don't do it. I'm telling you not. Fuck all that street nigga shit that these, these rappers portraying to be and all that goofy ass, thug ass shit. Nigga, I'm trying to be the great. Nigga, I'm trying to be great. I'm trying to be the biggest nigga out the city. Nigga, I'm trying to be bigger than life, nigga. I wanna be big as Eminem or not bigger, nigga. I wanna be bigger, nigga. I wanna be big, nigga. And, I, and you can't get there thinking like, Oh, he told on him, so I ain't gonna fuck with him. Nigga, that nigga Takashi wanna do a song, nigga, I'm doing that bitch, nigga. That nigga, that nigga, uh, uh, well, I'm gonna take that back. Cause Takashi, you know, I fuck with the trains heavy. You know what I'm saying? And that's us. So, nigga, you fucked up. Nigga, fuck you. But, nigga, uh, 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 uh. Gunner. Gunner, nigga, you wanna do something, nigga? We can do something, nigga. I don't give a fuck, nigga. What's the nigga name? If a nigga, I ain't saying them niggas bold, nigga. I'm just saying what, what people saying. I don't give a fuck. What's the nigga name? Uh, uh, Boston Richie. I right, do something with that nigga. And ain't nobody gonna do nothing about it, nigga. Fuck all you niggas. This shit movies. Get your get the money and get your family out this bitch, bro. I'm about to change the whole dynamic of this shit, nigga. I'm not about to. We not about to be sitting around dying and going to prison and trying to. Uh, and, and, and now we got to sit around and think about how we gonna send these niggas monies and pay our bills and take care of these kids because y'all psyched us out about some street shit. No, that shit over with. That shit dead. We been in prison. We seen what that shit was about. We been street niggas. We seen what that was about. Now we want to be multi-millionaires and see what that's about. We don't care about the street shit no more. That shit over with. Over and done with. Like, I'm talking about 100% done, dead. Everybody telling on niggas. Ain't no money in the streets no more. That shit is dead. It ain't even no point of being no street nigga no more. That shit out the window. I don't give a fuck if a nigga don't want to ride with it. If a nigga do want to ride with it, however a nigga feel. I'm not saying I'm going to tell on the nigga. But what I'm telling you is, fuck that shit, nigga. I don't give a fuck about that shit, nigga, at all. So I don't want to hear about it no more. I don't want to hear about who telling. I don't want to hear about who ratting, who fucking who, what bitch. Oh, he talking to my bitch. I don't want to hear none of that. If it ain't about how we going to get a million dollars and go to the next level, I don't want to hear about it at all. At all. That's what any of them niggas. I want to I wanna fuck with the niggas who don't want to. Listen. The niggas that don't like these niggas come and sign. Whatever niggas don't like them niggas come sign me. That's who I'm trying to fuck with, nigga. If you don't like them niggas come sign me. PD me, 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 y'all don't like them, they come sign me. If y'all don't like the I go against these bitch ass niggas. If y'all if these niggas wanna keep talking, I go against these niggas. These niggas ain't talking about nothing. Nigga, I go against these niggas. The fuck? Man, these niggas just talking, man. Hey, Alright. See the like the Royce, the five nine and dog face going back and forth? Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. I seen some of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh 
I know I fuck with uh, Royce the Fine Nine posted me, man. He liked my music and shit. So I, you know, I fuck with. I mean, Dogface, you know, he a black, you know, he a, he a, he in the nation of Islam. So you know, I support him one hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really got uh, too much to say about Dogface, but I do feel like he should have said something about that Flint shit, though. Like, nigga, you could have, like, man, what he's saying is right, but we trying to change the culture or whatever the fuck niggas trying to do, or you know what I'm saying? For, as far as like, if you trying to be a leader or a, a nigga to look at you in the light in the city, like, nigga, you got to stand on every side, nigga. You got to stand on. You can't just stand on one point of view, nigga. You got to see every point of view, and you got to look at shit from every way. Like, that's how I know, like, when them, when them Jews put that money in my hand, bro, like, they not gonna put it in these niggas' hands, bro, because these niggas is not, these niggas is not, like, I wanna say, they not ready, they not really mentally ready for this shit. Like, they not really, they not really willing to make the sacrifices and really willing to stand up for what they need to stand up for and really to be, like, these niggas not ready for that shit. So I'm looking at it like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Like, these niggas ain't gonna be in this position too long because, like, nigga, how the fuck, you know what I'm saying, nigga, you gotta stand up for shit, nigga, you can't just, you can't just sit here and, you know what I'm saying, like, nigga, if Trick, nigga, Trick will be on both sides, nigga, Trick gonna, hey, and not be on both sides, but, okay, he gonna see it from every point of view if he come and address you, I mean, if it's a Detroit issue, it's Detroit side, no matter what, but I'm saying, if it's a Detroit issue, he gonna address every point of view in the situation, nigga's not gonna just address, uh, 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 one side or, not say nothing at all or just look at shit a certain way. Like, I don't, that's that's just the only thing I got to say about a uh, dog face. You know what I'm saying? I feel like he should have said something like, nigga, he right. Because niggas, and, and, and that nigga being of age, I know he know I'm right. You know what I'm saying? A nigga not going to sit here and tell me I ain't right. But if a, if, if a nigga sitting here on some rap shit, if we just on talking about rappers and, you know what I'm saying, the music world, then, then hey, it is what it is. Hey, we trying to try and change the culture. We trying to do this for the culture, for the music culture, and we trying to get money this way, nah, and that's what we on, but if we talking about nigga what's really going on, nigga what's really going on is them niggas don't like us, nigga. Them niggas never liked us, nigga, since the last 15, 16 years, nigga. 50, 60 years, nigga, them niggas never liked us, nigga. This shit ain't nothing new, nigga. I ain't, nigga, this ain't no, this ain't no shit I'm coming up with out the blue. Where I'm just coming up with this shit. Right. This shit just brand new, huh? I'm just making this shit up to get some, man, no, it's not. This shit real, nigga, this ain't no fuck, come on, man. This shit real. I feel like they tolerate us. They don't like us. They force to tolerate us. They force to tolerate niggas because now, especially now, now that PZ sign niggas and shit like that, nigga, niggas, niggas forced to deal with niggas and forced to, I mean, not the, not the, not the, the niggas that ain't doing shit or niggas ain't, but niggas that's, that's, that's like in the mix, niggas forced to deal with niggas like that, but niggas probably being under their breath and in their minds like, man, I can't wait to, I ain't got to fuck with these niggas or I can't wait to, you know what I'm saying? Niggas always be like that, you know what I'm saying? So... I ain't gonna let a nigga get a chance to, to to be in a position to bite me in my ass, nigga. Fuck you, niggas, nigga. For real, that's how I feel about any nigga. Shit, mm -hmm. nigga. Before you get to bite me, nigga, I'm gonna go and cut your head off, nigga. And that's just what it is, nigga. For real. Do you feel like in the near future, I would say like the in the next one to five years, you think that we could stick together and become like Atlanta, as far as the music scene? No, because nobody looking at nobody looking at the little dog. Nobody like I'm a type of nigga, bro. Like Atlanta is Atlanta have a billion niggas that's one hit wonders. Niggas in Detroit can see a nigga with one hit and they won't even post a nigga. You will have to you will have to you will have to pay a nigga seven hundred dollars to post them on his Instagram. Like come on man, like nigga, we'll never be like Atlanta, man. I mean we, we was the first Atlanta, like I mean like we Detroit. I mean, but like far as the music scene, far as niggas they trying to try niggas trying to niggas man, listen man. That shit, it's gonna take a nigga like me with a bunch of money to make that happen, nigga. It's gonna take a nigga like me with a bunch of money. Cause these niggas, man, these niggas in fear for real, bro. I mean, if I be honest, man, niggas in fear, bro. You know how much talent out here, bro? With the music, bro, it's talent, bro. Niggas out this bitch is talented, bro. Niggas is talented, bro. Niggas is just, the only thing is, right, it's about who you know and about the sacrifices you're willing to make. You know what I'm saying? That's what separates you and them niggas. You know what I'm saying? Who you know and the sacrifice. If you wouldn't fuck who you know, if you willing to make the sacrifices and put the grind and the work in, nigga, you're going to be gone. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, I'll be making sacrifices, man. I make real sacrifices for this shit, nigga. And I'm, I really, like I said, bro, I really want to stop and really say fuck all this shit, man. Because if a nigga can't see, like, like I, like I was saying, like the, 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 the culture and the history I'm putting behind my music and the, and the Detroit love I'm putting behind my music, I seen the nigga say something to me like, oh, you can't talk about no... No, 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 uh, Flint, nigga, cause 
this shit right here ass. And they was talking about the David Ruffin. I'm like, nigga, what? Nigga, you don't even know your city history. How can you even say some shit like this ass? Nigga, it ain't fuck the song. It's the culture, nigga. How you gonna say it's ass? Nigga, if they played this shit a million times on the radio like they did everything else, oh, everybody gonna be want to play David Ruffin, man. This shit ain't no fucking, no big deal. Like, man, niggas, listen, bro. And that's and that was my whole point about the Flint shit, too, man. Like, program. We come from Juan, Blade, Herc, nigga, motherfucking Wipeout. We come from that type of music. Hustle, get money. Nigga, get the money, get the bag. Now, niggas can't get the bag because all niggas here in their fucking ear is the goofy shit. I'm a fucking nigga grandma and smack his, smack his kid in the back until uh, 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 we get him back. Uh, 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 uh. Like, man, what the fuck is that? Like, no, we don't, we, that's not, that's not what pro, that's not how we program our youth, nigga. We didn't program our youth to be like, nigga, our program, we ain't, nigga, that's Flint. We, we, that shit where it's at, nigga. We programmed our youth to be hustlers, nigga, to get money, nigga. We, I have, now, bro, the, these last, bro, since I've been out here these last three years, bro, I, none of these niggas is hustlers no more, bro. None of these niggas, these niggas is crybabies, bitches, hoes, can't get off their ass and do nothing. It's all starting with that music, man, that programming shit, man, that nigga want to sit lean and want to motherfucking, and that shit programming, man, that shit all mental programming, bro. So if a nigga keep listening to this shit, eventually he's going to, oh, I'm about to sit some lean and I'm about to uh, rap like these niggas and talk like these niggas and never want to go nowhere. They're keeping you stuck, man. That's what I'm trying to, that's what I was trying to tell niggas. You're never going to go nowhere trying to be like another nigga or trying to sound like the niggas that ain't in our culture, who we are. Like, we are known for dirty, getting them out. I'm a hustler, nigga. I'm a real nigga. I don't get a job. I sell dope. Whatever, nigga. I'm a real hustler, nigga. I'm a fucking hustler, nigga. That's what Detroit is, nigga. We're the city of hustlers, nigga. The city of gods, nigga. We're not the city of goofies, nigga. We don't talk about goofy shit all day. We don't sit around and do goofy shit all day. But now we is, though, because guess what? Nigga, that's all we hear all day is goofy shit. So guess what? All these niggas out here doing is goofy shit. Goofy ass little niggas doing goofy shit if you pay attention to it, man. I'll be like, man, what the fuck is the fuck is you talking about, man? How the fuck is you worried about what's going on in the neighborhood and your motherfucking kids over that bitch starving? Or your motherfucking bitch got her life about to get cut out or they about to get kicked out or they stand with their mama and you worry about what the next nigga got going on. Like, no, nah, nigga, we ain't that ain't where we come from, bro. We came from hustlers, nigga. Any nigga that's a street nigga or a so-called quote unquote thug street. Uh, whatever the fuck, a, a, a spot worker, whatever the fuck a nigga want to be, we're hustlers, bro. That's where we came from. So if we is that, you know what I'm saying? If we is that, our music got to represent represent that. You know what I'm saying? Our music can't represent the goofy shit, the, uh, 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 the, 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 you know what I'm saying? It's good music. They be, I just heard some uh, RCM Mike and Rio the other day. I'm like, these niggas cutting up on that bitch. You feel me? They cutting up. But that's not no... It's not no substance behind that music. That's why they got to make a thousand fucking songs and ten thousand songs. Yeah. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. One of my songs gonna make me ten million dollars. I'm not. About to, I'm going viral. With one of, I'm, nigga, when I when my shit touch the world, nigga, when I finally figure this shit out, man, man, come on. I'm not doing all that goofy ass shit, nigga. That David Ruffin, nigga, that shit gonna be number one on billboards, nigga. When the gods speak, the earth shake, nigga. Remember that, nigga. Mm -hmm. For real, nigga. Who you feel like is the uh, pioneer of Detroit sound in the last five to ten years? You say who? Uh, the pioneer of it, like who stamped it, like who, who really the made the sound? Yeah. I mean, first, like, first, like I'm concerned now. We don't have no Pacific sound as of now. Like our last sound was the Dope Boys East Side Team East Side sound. That was our last sound. You know what I'm saying? And before that, we had the Hurt and the Blade and them sound and the, you know what I'm saying? Them, but we always had different flows though. If you pay attention, Bezo don't sound like Doug and Doug don't sound like Face and Face don't sound like. P and you know what I'm saying and, and saying with well, pay, pay, payroll you know what I'm saying them niggas don't sound like you know what I'm saying they got a sound like a flow but they got a different sound for real like they sound especially Bezo Bezo got a different sound than niggas like Doug got a different sound than niggas what we talk about in our motivation in our music might be some of the same substances but the sound be different for real like like Herc and Blade them was two different them niggas was talking about hustling and getting money but they was two different sounds it was never really the same sound for real but they had different sounds but the same message i should say you know what i'm saying but everybody that's doing something man i'm proud of them niggas man like man to come from like man i come from sardines on christmas man you know what i'm saying we i had rich moments and poor moments in my life man and you know what i'm saying the poor moments last way longer than the rich moments do you know what i'm saying so niggas need to know like man we come from nothing in the city you know what i'm saying detroit is like 
Like, like, man, like, nigga, we all struggle. Ain't no just, like, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody really here super rich or, I mean, niggas is. You got street money and shit like that. But I'm talking about as far as, like, the state of mind. Like, to where our kids going to put, uh, private schools and our, we got the best health care that the money can offer. Or, you know what I'm saying? Or we got the best cars and, you know what I'm saying? Or we got the best insurance. So, if something happened, our kids going to be set for life. Like, we ain't come up, come from that. So, in order to get there, you feel me? We gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we do gotta stick together, like you said. But is it gonna happen? Shit, I don't know. I, I, I highly doubt it. But shit, for niggas the for niggas the for niggas like Bezo and Peasy and Payroll and Kid and Keys just got a deal and all them niggas, man. For niggas to for niggas to come from what come from what I know of Detroit and to make it, I know them niggas gonna be great. You know what I'm saying? I know them niggas gonna be great. I ain't trying to take nothing from them niggas. You feel me? But Shit, at the end of the day, nigga, niggas gonna hear what I got to say. At the end of the day, nigga, fuck you if it's fuck me, nigga. And that's just is what it is, nigga. Shit. Do you feel like we watered down the foundation trick set for us with the no fly zone? Man, I feel like trick should have kept that shit going, man. Cause now it's like, now like, I mean, these niggas can do whatever. Like now, nigga can get signed to a nigga without permission, without or niggas niggas ain't getting signed. Niggas ain't, like all type of shit going on, man. Where Niggas blackballing, niggas, uh, niggas, a, niggas, man, niggas out here on some hoe shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie, that music game, a bunch of hoe nigga games, bro. I ain't gonna lie, them bunch of bitch hoe niggas for real, if we're gonna be honest. Cause these niggas, bro, these niggas, bro, the way they playing that game, like they, they, they playing it like they in fear. Because if a, if a nigga come out with that talent, bro, which is gonna be found, you know what I'm saying? A nigga that can make dog ass. An album in a day, and it's niggas out here like that, making a cold ass album in one day and can put that bitch out. And, but like niggas, it's in fear of that man. So I don't think niggas want to really support and really try to. That's what I think it is. I don't think niggas want to. Like I said, man, Atlanta got a million one hit wonders. You know what I'm saying? Where are where are motherfucking? I swear, I sir. Uh, where where are motherfucking the the rich homie Quans and the and the. The motherfucking, the, the whoever, the shorty lows, the, man, all that shit take is for one nigga, man, that's already where he spoke. Like, at the P's he put in his work, and at the payroll put in his work, and at the key, all them niggas, Bezo, all them niggas, after them niggas put in all that slave and work, bro, the next nigga shouldn't have to do that because y'all went through it. That's just like, man, I went to prison, my son ain't got to go to prison because I went there. So I'm already teach that nigga, hey, this how you avoid that shit. Before you get there, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that's how the only way we gonna go up if niggas teach us, like, okay, nigga, you ain't gonna take, I, it took me 10, 15 years to do it, but you can do it in five or two, you know what I'm saying? The next nigga can do it in one, the nigga be behind him can do it in a day, you know what I'm saying? Like, but it'll never be that because niggas is hungry, niggas is selfish, niggas don't want to, nigga, nigga, nigga don't even want to post your music for free, man, so it just be like, nigga, Bro, I don't know, man. If you if you ain't got three, four hundred thousand men to try to start a rap career, bro, I wouldn't even fuck with these niggas, bro. Or get out of town. I go try to out of town on some town town shit, bro. Cause niggas ain't trying to let niggas in that door or even try to support each other, man. Like, man, so many niggas in the city with so much talent, man, or so much like, man, I got a nigga named Trez, bro. This nigga's a fucking triple threat, bro. Scene, rap, harmonize, all that shit, man. Like, bro, this nigga's so fucking cold. I had him on my page, me, RTM nigga. Man, this nigga is a fucking threat. How the fuck a nigga like this don't have nobody behind him or don't have nobody pushing him? Like, I don't understand. Like, is the money not real? What's going on? Like, what's really going on? Like, because I see money when I see that nigga. I be like, man, if this shit get... Man, he got a song called I Don't Want to Be Here, right? I just know. This was like... This song is big as like first day out. Maybe bigger. This bitch so hard. And he know T. You know, he know T. Like, they like this. You know, well, I don't think they like this, but... Back in the day, they was like, they was real good or whatever, but my whole thing is like, damn, nigga, this song is so fucking hard, nigga. Even, I'd be like, listen, if I had it, if I had it to, to do it, I'd be like, listen, man, let me give you $20,000 for, if, if for this song, and nigga, I, I uh, push this song, nigga, and I, let, me, let me make $50,000 back until I make my $50,000 back. You don't get nothing off the song. Man, it'd be a big man, but niggas, niggas in fear because if a nigga get out like that, it's gonna shut up and it's gonna stop a lot of niggas, bro. Like it ain't, it ain't too much, you know what I'm saying? It be a few niggas that be having the ball, man. You know what I'm saying? If a lot of niggas, if certain niggas get in the in the dope, man, bro, Trey's like a Drake, bro. My nigga like a Drake, bro. Like for real, like this ain't no over exaggerating nothing, bro. That nigga is out of his fucking mind, man. When it come to talent, man, like, but man, niggas ain't gonna let niggas in the dope. We gotta, man, that shit. I don't see the I don't see the city being 
that close knit of a of a of a place because one we Detroit and two it's just not us shit and then niggas just always gonna hate we 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 that's always been in our, our blood though niggas always hating on each other from the from the city you know it's always just like with the east and west side oh east side the best west side the best side east side the, whatever the whatever the fuck niggas be saying like bro that like it's always been some borderline hate in our city like whether if I see a nigga riding the road I'm the type of nigga to be like damn that nigga in the roads how do I get it show me how to get it but the next nigga see it I'm gonna rob his bitch ass he gonna pull up on me in the roads like that this is that's how Detroit a lot of Detroit niggas mindsets is and that's what I mean by getting out like that mindset we gotta get out like not get out the hood but when I'm saying get out is get out of all that like, we all can be riding the Rolls Royces up Plymouth and up Seven Mile and motherfucking grass shit and all that shit. We all can be doing that shit, but nigga, nobody want to get out that mentality that they in, that hating ass, nothing ass nigga mentality that they in. So it's just going to be like, shit, we're going to be stuck where we at, shit. And that's how I see it, you know what I'm saying? But me and mine, though, me and whoever coming with me, oh, we going to be a Bugatti. We about to be, we about to be living it up. I promise you that. I can promise you that 100%. They tell on you? No, hell no, hell no. But I'm saying I can't tell you who they is because they famous. You know what I'm saying? So I can't, I can't tell you who my co-defendants is, but, but shit, you know. I can imagine. Mm-hmm. But no, they ain't telling me though. During your time in prison, did you have any, uh, what, what was your biggest altercation that you got into? Man, niggas know who my family, a nigga ain't. <laughs> I'm trying to tell, bro, I was good the moment I went in that bitch from the moment I got out, bro. I ain't a whole lot of niggas, bro. Nigga ain't raised a finger up at me in that bitch, bro. I ain't had no real altercations. I'm not saying it like I'm the, I ain't saying it like I'm the toughest nigga in the world either. You know what I'm saying? Not only that, nigga, I'm a guy. I'm, I'm a child of God, too, nigga, at the end of the day, too, see. So, I'm, I'm a child of God, too, at the end of the day. So, not only... You know what I'm saying, nigga? I got God on me, nigga. I'm the same nigga. I kept my razor in my Bible, nigga. Everywhere I went, nigga, I kept my brown Bible in my back pocket with my razor, nigga. I wouldn't worry about shit in that bitch neither, nigga. What's the craziest thing you seen in the joint? Oh, my God. Man, I know so much. Man, listen, the nigga, uh, damn, come back. This bitch ain't even hitting, bro. You gotta get it right. Huh. Damn, bro, I'm in the interview. See, I see. I'm, I'm so much. I'm a Gemini, so I'm, I'm like a. I'm a sociable person, man. I can talk to anybody. I'm like water, and I can, and I can, I can, and I can. Uh, I can. Uh, I can. Uh, I can. I can. I can relate, or I can have empathy for anybody. So. I met everybody, man. I met the head of the Aryans. I was, I was, I was decent with the head of the Aryans. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying it like we was best friends, but I did have an Aryan friend, like a real, real best friend there. You know what I'm saying? From 12th Street. You know what I'm saying? Saying, uh, 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 but uh, his name. I met a guy in there called Baru. He was the head of the Aryan Nation. I don't know if you ever heard of him or not, mm -hmm. but uh. You know they be people with the blood, like the blood don't give a fuck. Which I have a blood, but you know when I met Baru when I was a young nigga, I was I was just turning seventeen, and, and you know he kind of he, he kind of the first nigga that eased my nerve and I been here some bad. But he 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 made me come back. Okay. He made me uh <coughs> he made me really really realize like what the Aryan Brotherhood all about like. You can't be mad at nobody for feeling like they're racist, the supreme race, and, and, and he, he he like man, I don't I don't I don't hate you. I don't give a fuck about what you got going on. I just care about my people. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing wrong with that. Niggas is the only niggas that we the only people that don't do that shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking like damn, okay. He like yeah, well, I got to kick it in with him. He like listen, man. And and, and 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 let me tell you about this guy, man. I'm talking about this guy about eighty. The whole yard, he can do burpees. The whole yard, nonstop. The whole hour yard, when you're level four. He do burpees the whole yard, nonstop. He get off the phone, get on the phone, whatever the fuck he do, he burpees, burpees. I mean, the old guys fucking just ripped. Yes, sir. He a fucking uh, monster, but he an old white dude, man. And the nigga, uh, the nigga, a good nigga, man. He he was telling me like, man, 
Like, man, this shit, I'm just about my people. I'm not about to play with nobody. Motherfucker get in my way. I'm going to fuck them up. Shit, it is what it is. And shit, he stood on that. And that's what I seen. Uh, motherfucker, uh, uh, another white dude had came in and said something about the, uh, about the Aryans. Man, I'm talking about, I seen so much shit in there. Uh, my nigga boss all the bug. This nigga funny as hell, man. This nigga had stabbed the nigga in the head. And the knife got stuck in this nigga head. Everybody in the door, I mean, in the, in, the, in the tunnel trying to get the knife off the nigga head. That was some funny shit that I seen, but that wasn't like bad. It was just funny. They, they fucked him up bad though, but uh, the nigga, uh, when Baru, them they, they demonstration down, man, they had, they was shooting on the yard, all oh, tight, man. Helicopter had to come and get that hunky, man. They was about to kill that boy in there. Man, listen, the, nigga, the niggas was so slick, right? This is my first see, listen, man. When you, listen, I don't give a fuck how tough you is, man. I'm 17 in this bitch, and I'm looking at this shit. I'm on a dip bar, man. When the people that's supposed to protect you can't protect you, nigga, and, and it's a thought, man, that's just some scary shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie, nigga. I was in that bitch. I'm looking at that shit. I'm on a dip bar, right? So, but but this is how they try to get them, though. So, as we, we at four block. We at St. Louis level four. So, we at four block. Sometimes they let us walk through the backyard because the, the, that's the only unit that's connected to the big yard. You feel me? The, with back 40, big yard, whatever y'all call it. So uh, we go around shit, you feel me? We go around a long way instead of going straight out through the back, through the small yard to the big yard. We go around a long way. Man, one of these big ass uh, white boys, man, tried to pull out the motherfucking sheet and he tried to grab him and hold him down so they can kill him. You know what I'm saying? But the white boy was fast. He got up under that bitch, took over and bop. Man, I'm telling you, man, I ain't never seen no butcher knives like this. Not even in the world, man. He's <laughs> trying to kill that bitch. Talking about that. Man, you better not be talking about the nigga's brotherhood. Man, they tried to kill that bitch, man. They stabbed that nigga up so bad. He running around screaming for his life. I'm looking at this before they had tasers. See, when I first went to prison, they didn't have tasers. They got tasers for you niggas now. Yeah. Man, I'm in that bitch, man. They stabbing the fuck off this nigga, man. I'm looking at this shit like, what the fuck? Fuck did I just get myself into, dog? I'm 17, shooting a nigga and stabbing a nigga. It's some totally different shit, bro. I don't give a fuck. If you can stab a nigga, I promise you, you a monster, nigga. These niggas can't. You, you ain't. You gotta be, nigga. You gotta be. Ah, to, to get up on a nigga to be wrecked. Right. You gotta. Ah, man, you gotta be oh, ready. Yeah, you gonna pop some. Yeah, you gonna that that pop over the crack over the skin like these niggas not. Like these niggas be talking that shit, bro. That's a different type of. That's a different type of shooting a nigga. Blah blah blah. That's why a lot of shooters go in that bitch and get their ass beat on and get the fucked up and all that shit. Cause niggas ain't. That's like shooting a nigga. I'm not saying it's scary because it take a man to pull that trigger too. But really, like you know what I'm saying. To take another man's life, you gotta really you know what I'm saying. Come in your in your thoughts and your process. Like damn, I'm about to end this nigga. You know what I'm saying? But. You gotta really have a not give a fuck attitude about it. You know what I'm saying? But when you going up hand in hand combat on a nigga, bro, and y'all both really ready to kill a nigga, man, that's a different ball. That show your monster in you, nigga. That bring that monster out of you in that bitch, nigga. But I mean, shit, nigga. Uh, that was probably the craziest shit I seen in that bitch for real. I mean, I ain't. I mean, uh, niggas got raped a couple times, and I don't even think niggas was getting raped. I think one of the situations a nigga was getting raped in uh. The nigga, uh, they put caution tape up on the dolls and all that shit, but the whole point was the nigga wasn't getting raped. He wanted to do it, but he wanted to stop doing it, I think. That's what they were saying or some shit like that. The shit was like diagonal down the hall from me, you know what I'm saying? So I seen it, and you hear what motherfuckers talking about, but you don't know the exact story of was he raping the white boy? Was he not raping the white boy? I don't know. I don't know what the fuck was going on, but that was about it. I mean, you see a lot of stabbers and... But the craziest shit, though, that I seen was the Baru demonstration. That was the craziest. I mean, St. Louis, you're going to see all the time. I mean, that was the worst prison you could, I mean, as far as violence, you would never see no other prison probably that violent for, for sure. I'm, I'm probably like, I've been to a lot of other prisons in that. And, I mean, St. Louis was violent, man. I'm talking about violent. I, and they even had it on the news, St. Louis and Jackson and, uh, I think it was one more Ojibwe for the most fabulous and assaults. Uh, most fabulous and assaults. Man, it was one time I was at St. Louis, man. Every time we came out for three months straight, the niggas was getting that issue handled to them, man. It was dangerous in that bitch. Niggas weren't playing in that bitch, nigga. From, especially from 10 to 13. That was like, what the fuck? What I sign? I ain't sign up for this shit. But shit. But shit, after that, though, shit. Nigga, man, nigga, being that bitch, man, that shit straight, man. That shit ain't. 
I mean, people think prison is like, uh, prison is just like the streets, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you went to out here, you're going to be into in there. Whatever you went to in there, you're going to be into out here. Like, if you went to making money, you can make money in that bitch. If you, if you, uh, gay, you're going to be gay in there, you know what I'm saying? If you, if you straight, shit, you can get some pussy. You just got to get the money. You got to be, be who you is. If you a hell of a nigga, all that shit, uh, available for you. Phones, ain't nothing, ain't nothing not available to you in prison. I mean, just because you... Locked up, it just don't come as easy, but shit, everything available to you in prison. You know what I'm saying? And you appreciate it more. So if you do get a piece of pussy in prison, you're going to be like, man, you can let that shit going to last you two years, three years. Nigga be in that bitch like, nigga be in that bitch like, man, I fuck girl in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, uh, in the, uh, porter claws. I think I done beat her down in that bitch. Nigga be talking about that shit five years. Nigga be feeling like that. Only, only at this over with. We ain't going to talk about why it's going on because these niggas talk too much, but. Nigga be nigga had that shit in their heart for five, six years. He done fucked the prison guard, CO in that bitch. My last question to you, because this was a big controversy when I posted the video. Have you ever seen somebody that came in just straight disrespecting bloods, dropping fives all day, so on and so forth? Have you have you ever seen that? And tell me what the consequences be that. Cause some dudes trying to like pretend like, oh no, I was in there dropping fives all the time. I was in there disrespecting blood all the time. Man, I ain't never heard nobody running around talking about the S lob word. You hear the C rap word all the time, but you vice versa, you don't hear that. My opinion. I mean, cause that's because I'm and, and I'm not I'm not gonna give it all to the bloods. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm a blood myself. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not gonna give it all to the bloods because at the end of the day, it's only because that's the majority. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like it's Crips in there. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas, a lot of real Crips. A lot of them niggas don't give a fuck. A lot. I just seen some Crip niggas. Push it to the homies and that bitch, nigga. I ain't gonna lie, nigga. Just that algebra before I got home, it was a war, nigga. I, just, just when I was at algebra, you know what I'm saying? It was a, it was a uh, blood and crib war, you know. What I'm saying? That's what they sent most of the cribs to from downstate that got into it with niggas downstate, and they all was up. Man, they was all just at the man. It was just a big ass war at that bitch, man. They was put, man. They was. I ain't gonna lie, they was pushing it to the homies. They, them niggas was, them niggas was pushing it to the homies in that bitch. Niggas want nigga, but the blood at that at that at that particular time. Niggas wasn't moving. They the niggas ain't had a mile right, so it was more on the oh I'm this blood, that's them bloods. Facts. So on that type of time, you know what I'm saying. But at the same time, nigga, no, none of that happens. To answer your question, none of that happens. But it only don't happen because listen, I'm a lion, man. If it's a thousand uh, uh, hyenas, man, I'm not gonna. All right, it is what it is. Y'all niggas got that, man. At the same time, but I know some lions that don't give a fuck. And there was some lions in there that didn't give a fuck. Now I'm not gonna say it like it wasn't, nigga. That's why I can't. I I I, I be uh, honest. You know what I'm saying? I did ten years in there, so I seen pretty much it all. And I seen some crip niggas push it to niggas and not give a fuck. Like really stood on that shit. Real crip niggas don't. Thoroughbred, like I got a brother out in Cali right now. That's who send me whatever I need, nigga. That nigga is a crip. You know what I'm saying? I, one of my engineers is a uh, 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 sixty. You know what's, what? Uh, yeah, he is sixty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga, uh, uh, he's six uh, He's six Yeah, he's six Yeah, I got nigga, I got, nigga. Like I don't like, so I don't be that shit. I don't be on the one side of thing about shit. You know what I'm saying? Like all that shit really was supposed to be to better our community anyway. So that's what I really look at it as. But niggas ain't never disrespect. I ain't never seen no niggas. You know what I'm saying? I even see. I, I seen when you said something about it. And actually, my man's actually reposted you. Uh, uh my homeboy he reposted you when he said it. And I, that's how I seen it actually. One of my homeboys reposted you, and I'm like, bro, you know what he's saying is true. But, but bro ain't even a crip though. He's a GD. But that's who be. That's who we have most of our problems with. Exactly. In prison is GDs, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't know why, but they assume that they, I don't know, because they a lot of them niggas have crips with them, and they feel like, oh, okay, well, we 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 move on with them niggas because we blue or we, but it really don't be like that for real. In real life, that's not how it's supposed to go. Just because them niggas got a blue flag and y'all niggas and it ain't even the same color blue, you know? What I mean? Y'all don't have the same history. Y'all from two different parts of the world, but that's how they look at it, though. So a lot of crip niggas want to protect. I mean, a lot of GD niggas want to protect the crips, which is okay and fine, Danny. So that's how a lot of problems be with that. You know what I'm saying? But on the East Coast, it's always gonna be more bloods than it will be crips, and on the West Coast, it's always gonna be more crips mm-hmm. than it will be bloods. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, but to answer your question, hell, fuck no, none of that happens on the yard where a motherfucker get the dropping fives and disrespecting fives and. 
saying all that goofy shit. None, no, nobody does that. Nobody do that for real. Niggas know they're going to get that. No matter who you are, you're going to get that issue handled to you eventually, yeah. some way. And it's just real shit. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I seen Crip niggas push it to niggas, bro. Like, really, push it to niggas. Well, I cannot think of my... Treese, nobody really fuck with Treese. Treese, everybody fuck with Treese. Man, man, everybody fuck with man, man. But I, I, and I respect the niggas too, man. Niggas, niggas don't know, bro. Like, you gotta be a warrior, bro, to, to literally be on a yard full of your, uh, niggas that's really against you already, just uh, uh, who you are, and you know this was coming, to, to still be like, nigga, hey, this is who I am, and this is what it is. You gonna accept this shit, or we, I'm gonna blow you up, or you gonna have to blow me up? Like, you really got to be a, a warrior for real. So, I, I all them crip niggas that stood on their toes, on them ten toes, nigga that didn't lock up, and then nigga that'll push it to a nigga, man, nigga, I support them niggas 100%. Because that's some real nigga. Like, nigga, you a real man. Nigga, before I'm a crip nigga, I'm a man. And you ain't about to make me do shit I don't want to do, nigga. At the end of the day, I don't give a fuck what you claiming or how many niggas you got respect with you. And then, to be honest, a lot of niggas put down a lot of bloods because niggas be in that bitch want some flunkies, and niggas be scary. You know what I'm saying? But... I'm not about to sit down here and talk down on my set, nigga. Hell no. We can push it to whoever. But a lot of niggas don't deserve to be in no type of position for real, you know what I'm saying, or, or to come to come out here and be like, nigga, I'm a blood, nigga, this, 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 and that. When you really a bitch-ass nigga, nigga put you down to be a flunky and you to, to go stab a nigga. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't got the permission to say, oh, ain't no crip nigga going to come out here and woo, 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 nigga, or, or say this or that. Ain't no crip nigga on the yard dropping no fight. That's not because of you. That's You didn't set that foundation. You didn't. Lay that down like that, nigga. Come on now. Like, let's be real. You know what I'm saying? But as far as the Lokes, though, man, I got a lot of Lokes that I got love for. You know what I'm saying? I, no hell, fuck no. A nigga will not come on no yard disrespecting us. You know what I'm saying? On no yard. And But it's a lot of a lot of Crips and a lot of Lokes, nigga, that stood tall on them yards. And, and, and the nigga ain't touched them niggas. And the nigga wouldn't fuck with them niggas. And if they did, they gonna handle it, come back out, and they gonna handle it again. And they gonna handle it again until, it's, until it is what it is. And I've seen that happen too. So for sure. So that's more yeah. seldom than the niggas did lock up or flip. Yeah, hell yeah, hell fuck yeah, hell yeah. Be cribby a blood lot of through niggas, that. A lot of niggas, man, what? A lot of niggas done done that too. A lot of niggas done done that too, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. I done seen a lot of niggas. A lot of niggas. I seen a lot of niggas drop their flags and all that type of shit in prison. The motherfucker, man, you would be. But see, it's really not real though. None of that shit in there real. When you really face reality, bro, none of that shit real. I ain't really face reality till about prison till I came home. I mean, what happens in there can follow you to the world. Don't don't get it twisted. But I'm saying like far, but it don't matter though. At the same time, it really don't matter because, like I said, none of that shit's real. Like once you get out of here, bro, nobody really gives a fuck about what you did on the yard, the rap you held. What type of nigga? Nobody gives a fuck. What's yeah. real is, nigga, how you gonna get, help get these bills paid and how you gonna get put food in these kids' mouths that you've been gone from for the last 10 years and how you gonna motherfucking do this and take care of this, get you a car, get you a job. Like, that's what's real. So, when you, that all that prison shit, man, when you come from out of there, bro, you gotta figure out what's real. You need to be focused on what's real in that bitch and that's trying to make money. That's the only thing that's real in that bitch is making money. All that other shit ain't even real for real. I ain't gonna lie to you. That shit ain't real. Like even when even when you become a part of the nation of Islam in prison, it don't even count when you come to the world. I didn't even know that. I didn't know that you. Okay, I I didn't, I didn't had a whole X on my name, and when I get to the world, it's not even on my name. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know that that wasn't even the case. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of that shit don't count in there, man. People don't people don't really respect that prison philosophy and the prison. I mean, I'm glad I went though. I ain't gonna lie because. Nigga, I, I'm a fucking soldier, nigga. I'm, I, I look at these niggas, even some niggas that went with me, like, man, how the fuck you so much of a fucking loser, man? Get up and go get some fucking money. Go get a bag. Go figure this shit out. Go make something happen, you know what I'm saying? But, like, me going to prison, man, that shit was like a gift and a curse. Me going for so much time was a curse. But me going and really understanding what real life is going, like, what's really real and what's really not, I needed that shit. Everybody, I feel like everybody need that shit at least once in their lifetime, you know what I'm saying? Go experience this shit for a minute, you know what I'm saying? Go see what... Real life, you go see that. Don't nobody give a fuck about you. Go see when your bitch start writing. You go see when your bitch get pregnant. Go see when this happened. Go see when that happened. Go see what, you know what I'm saying? A lot of motherfuckers don't give a fuck about you. So a lot of niggas need to really wake up to that point, you know what I'm saying? And go in there and really figure that shit out. On my opinion. Facts. It's just like that, hey. You got anything you want to say to the people before we close out? No, I mean, I mean, shit, we got everything out. Shit, here it is what it is, nigga. I fuck with y'all, nigga. Petty Pop TV, nigga, for real. Uh, the Hip Hop Lab, nigga. Shout out to Forum Ag, shit. Shout out to Mob, nigga. Shout out to B Dogs, nigga, shit. 
Shout out to them Jews, whatever Jews about to come. <laughs> <laughs> or Kim Worthy's. Kim, or the Kim Worthy's, nigga shit. Whoever, nigga, whoever about to come give me the millions, nigga. We ready to go and take this shit over, nigga, but shit. Shit, that's it, man. I appreciate you for coming out, man, and shit. Fucking with a nigga, man. Facts. We got two hours worth of it, man. It's just like that, man. Peace and blessings be upon y'all. Big five. Man.